Hello, How To Bob here, and we've been camping for some time now and noticed an issue with the gas springs or struts on the outdoor kitchen of the 2014 Keystone Outback. You can see when I lift it up, the bracket that holds the strut on is under a lot of stress here. It's bent in because there's only tension on the one side and that tension is causing the bracket to bend in eventually that's going to pull out so if you've had this problem this is what i've done to fix it i've already got the other side done so i'm going to show you what i did on this side i went up to the store and got a piece of angle iron it's a two inch two inches from the bottom here up to the top and that matches the height of the gas spring bracket cut it down into four inches and drilled four holes now you can put the holes wherever you want I chose those locations just to spread out the force so I'm going to start by taking the bottom of the gas spring off and there's a little clip I remove that and take it off the bottom strap I've got it supported with a broomstick and you can see how it's a little less under pressure but here's where my new angle iron is going to go and I need to get this bracket moved over so I'm going to use an adjustable wrench and gently pry it over carefully not to rip the screws out of the door and that's about where I want it to be right there I want to keep the two brackets parallel with each other so that's my spot right about there get it lined up and then I can mark it with a pencil and that'll be my whole locations to screw my additional support into the door. So I'm going to start by drilling four pilot holes where my pencil marks are. And I want to be careful not to go very deep at all. This door is only about three quarters of an inch deep. So I'm going to be using number 14 by three quarter inch screws. And I will screw those into the holes that I have drilled in my angle iron and line it up with the pilot holes that I already have drilled. And then I can put the rest of the screws in. And it looks like my new support bracket is pretty parallel with the gas spring bracket that's already there. Once I get this lined up i'm going to use the drill and drill through the original bracket and i'll drill all the way through that and then i will line up that hole with the hole in the new bracket try to keep it as straight as possible i chose a spot that won't interfere with the strut or the springs movement when the door closes so you want to make sure that the screw location or the hole location that you're drilling does not interfere when the door is closed so it might be in a little different location than this so now that i've got the two holes drilled i'm going to be using a 1032 bolt and i'll put two 1032 nuts on first and this will give me some kind of adjustment and support from the original bracket to the one that I just added. In essence, I'm giving it two points of contact to support my strut. So I'll thread the nuts all the way on to the bolt. And I want to have the head of the bolt up against the new bracket. Once I get the head all the way up against the new bracket, I'll tighten that nut all the way down against the new bracket and then tighten the other one down against the old bracket. And if it's still not straight, I do have some adjustment by using my wrench. I can spread the distance apart. These look pretty parallel, so I'm pretty happy with the location. Get it a little bit tighter here. And then I'll put one more nut and tighten that down on my bolt. And that'll lock everything into place. And I can tighten up all the nuts from here. 
and I'll just repeat the process on the inside. Thread the bolt through, put two nuts on the inside. Once I get those threaded in, I can then feed the bolt through the original bracket. And again, you want to make sure that the strut is able to swivel so that it doesn't hit the bolt when you close the door if you're doing this kind of repair. So now I've got the one nut tightened. I have to tighten the other one up against the old bracket. And then I can put... one on the outside here and tighten it up and then we can mount the bottom shock bottom of the shock onto the bottom bracket put the retaining clip back into place and make sure that's snapped into place and then we should be tightened up and ready to go. So we'll take a look at our apparatus here. You can see that the original bracket, any force that it gets to the side is gonna be held up by the new bracket. And that'll support it on two ends. And the strut or spring, gas spring, will be able to close. Let's do it real slow here and take a look. Looks good on both sides. So if you're ever looking for a way to repair a bad design, this is one potential way to do that. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'm How To Bob. As always, thanks for watching.